Sharif, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, Fresh thank you from me. the villa, Love Island Villa, how does it feel being out? Yeah, thank you for having me, first of all. Um, yeah, it feels, uh, feels good to be home. Uh, yeah, it's been, been a roller coaster, to say the least, but yeah, it's good to be home and, and with the right people. So you got scouted on your lunch break. Yeah. Could you have ever imagined that life would become this? Yeah, no. Uh, so never in a million years could I have predicted my journey, which I've been on uh, over like the last month and a half. But yeah, I got scouted on my lunch break, um, literally turned around after I got my food and um, there were di directors of the show there just asking me, do I watch it? Would I be interested in um, auditioning for it and stuff like that? So what were your intentions when you went on this show? Did you actually want to go on and find love? Yeah, so I would say I, my, def, my definite preference was to come out and um, come out of the experience having found love and um, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a girl in a couple in relationship, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And obviously when you went on, first episode, I think, um, the girls didn't really step forward for you. How did yeah. that make you feel? Yeah, so uh, that was a, that was a, that was a, it was a tough one, but um, as I said on the show, it, it, it was what it was, and um, yeah, just just picked myself up from there. So it was it was a minor. But when you were there, did you feel like there was a place for you? Did you feel like there was a lady in there who you could have possibly fell in love with, someone who could have possibly loved you? I definitely feel I had a good relationship with um, all of the girls in the villa. Um, I would say my relationships with the girls were probably like better than the boys even, mm. but. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like there, there, there were girls in there, uh, especially, especially Anna, that I could have, I could have found love with or found a, a decent relationship with. Yeah. Mm. Do you miss Anna? I do. I do miss my time with Anna. Obviously, it's hard to, uh, like, get emotional over, over the fact that I've left, um, mainly because I was only in there for about ten days. Mm. Um, but yeah, I do miss my time with her, and I do do miss the girl. Yeah. Mm. But could you have seen yourself falling in love with her, being with her after the show? I definitely could have seen that. Um, yeah, I definitely, definitely think that we were heading in the right direction and we were at a key stage um, of understanding each other when, when I was pulled out. But um, yeah, I definitely think that it could have developed into love, yeah. Exactly. And things were just going so great. You know, you and yeah. Anna were getting together, then all of a sudden, you were just removed. Boom. Removed from the villa. Yeah, I What know. happened? So, um... I told I told I've told my story uh, essentially. Me and Molly May were mucking about, and some crude language was used after, which I don't condone in hindsight. But um, yeah, I was I was I was taken out of bed about a couple hours before we were supposed to get up, and I was just um, told to head to the beach hut. And after that, uh, directors in there just told me that it was time 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 for me to go. And how did how did that make you feel when you were told that you just had to leave after just a few days? In all honesty, in the actual moment, in general, um, I would say that I was more concerned with going home. Obviously, I was a bit homesick. Everybody in the villa was a bit homesick to a certain degree, but um, I was mainly focused on the fact that I was going home. And uh, it did make me feel a bit bad because uh, I didn't get to say goodbye to anyone properly. They didn't get to say goodbye to me, didn't even get to pack my bags. But um, yeah, in the moment, I was, I'd just woken up, so when they were telling me this kind of stuff, it was kind of like I wasn't in the right headspace to receive it all, so I was kind of like half receiving it. Um, I don't think I showed much much emotion at the time, but uh, yeah, it all happened so quickly. So, mm. Do you think it's fair that you were booted out? Um, at the time, I agreed with the fact that I'd... Um, broken the rules and regulations, uh, which are pretty strict in there. Uh, being that it's such a big show for ITV and the whole of Europe, really. But when I equate it with some of the other stuff that's happened to previous contestants and um, even some of the stuff that was happening in there and is happening on the show now that I'm out, um, I, it, it's hard for me to see how they equate things in their system. And uh, yeah, the severity that they hold with one thing um, against another is, is a bit off balance. So. Um, yeah, that being said, I think it's just down to the public and ITV to decide whether it was fair or not. I mean, I, I look forward to a bright future regardless. So um, for me, it's, 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 it's different. Mm. So when you were booted out, there were lots of rumours online. Some yeah. people were saying that maybe you were pleasuring yourself in the pool. Um, how did that make you feel? You know, everyone's talking about you online. People are essentially laughing at you. You know, Do you know what it is? I feel like although people were making these ludicrous rumours that they also held it with um, with humour as well. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think half of the people, or even more than half of the people who actually made up these rumours or listened to these rumours actually believed them, but they would have loved to believe them just for the hype. But um, 
yeah, I'm someone that uh, if I haven't done something or I haven't done anything close, um, it would it would kind of be amusing for me as well. So uh, <laughs> I was just waiting to tell my story, and um, I'm glad I finally decided to do that to clear things up. But yeah, it didn't really affect me too much. Do you feel like you were treated differently in this situation because of your skin colour, Sharif? Um, I don't think it was just down to race. I think race would um, could play a factor, but I think it's um, an unconscious an unconscious bias in 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 general. Uh, do with um, sexism, race, uh, yeah, and a number of factors. So yeah, I think it was as a whole some unconscious bias. Mm. So you say obviously you got booted out because you were play fighting with Molly May and you kicked her in the the private parts by yeah. accident. Yeah. If she had have done that to you, yeah. do you think Molly May would have been booted out? I almost definitely can say a hundred percent that she she wouldn't have. Um, whether she would have been called up, I don't know. But, yeah, I, I can almost say 100% that she wouldn't have, especially the way it happened. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think she would have. Mm. Any regrets? Um, my 100% regret is the fact that, although this has happened, um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have used such um, crude language in the first place because, as I said, I didn't know where it came from and it's, it's, that was a bit out of character. So uh, that's something that definitely can be controlled and... Um, yeah, in hindsight, I probably regret it doing that as well. What about aftercare? How much support did the show give you after? So ITV do have a duty of aftercare. They have um, strict policies and, and, and contracts that you sign. Um, so they do have a duty of aftercare. You get um, to see a psych, first of all, before you leave. And um, yeah, there's, there's psych sessions in place. Uh, I think it's a minimum of eight with review after each one. So. Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's an aftercare package and um, you do social media training and stuff like that. But um, yeah, yeah, I think. Do you think there's a diversity problem in reality TV as a whole? Because Marcel from Love Island, I think last year said the exact same thing. So I think there's a diversity um, issue, uh, but I think it stems from the society we live in really, because uh, I feel like all of the contestants, which they deem fit, for the show, which are of my colour or um, different ethnicity to, to Caucasian, is uh, it's, it's difficult because they usually end up liking um, or having a type that doesn't really necessarily like them in uh, in most cases we've seen on the show. Um, but yeah, that 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 stems from outside of the show, so it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a tricky situation to to, to battle. Mm. Now, there's also been a lot of chatter online that on Saturdays, you guys apparently just party, enjoy yourselves when the cameras aren't on and you have a day off. Do you have a day off? So, I don't know where people get this from, because if you think about um, how it works, you have to record in advance. So, uh, yeah, there's no days off. <laughs> there's, no, there's no days off. It's not like Saturday's a, a free day. Um, but yeah, I was only in there for 10 days, so... Yeah, I think I got one or two Saturdays, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't really be able to tell. Um, but yeah, no, I don't think it's a thing.